Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Evan is the of Living Streams International, still on the Christmas roll. I have been trying to paint pictures of Christmas, bringing you a principle field event rather than just an event. Christmas is not just a celebration of an event. Christmas should be about picking up principles, life-changing principles or life-applicable principles that will put us forward. You know, uh, the story of Christmas for me if I'm just going to rely on it, it's going to be, um, it's not going to be very interesting because it's going to be repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Uh, Mary had a little boy who was born, uh, Mary as a virgin had a little boy and all the distance. But there are, there are things in there, in there that uh, are quite intriguing to me. One of them is in Matthew chapter 2 verse 8. I like to call it crown pretensions. You remember Matthew 2 uh, verse 8, um, Herod, you know, of, of course, asked the, uh, the wise men or, or the Magi that, listen, um, where is this uh, king of the Jews? I don't know where he's born, but you go and look. And then when you find him, come back and report to me so that I'll also go and pay him a visit and be a blessing to him. And the wise men agreed. Now, for me, that is very, very interesting. The question which was answered in the Bible was Herod really interested in the welfare of the little child? Was Herod really interested in promoting the welfare of a child? Surely no, 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 and no, and no, and no. The purpose of Herod's curiosity, the purpose of Herod's uh, uh, inquiries, the, the, the purpose of all the things that uh, um, Herod was doing was that he can locate the baby and wipe the baby away and remove him he, 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 he had evil intentions. So he, he's a big man. And here is a little young man coming, a little baby coming up, and he's threatened by the presence of a little one. Sometimes people in positions of prominence, they might see somebody rising up, and that person's, listen, that person's aura, that person's uh, promise, its uh, potential is great. And it, begins, it becomes a threat. And then they'll look to wipe it away. Look at somebody like Saul. Saw David's potential. Saw David's anointing. Saw what David could do. David's prowess, his potential, and his prowess. And then he said, this guy is coming after my throne. So his interest in David was to wipe him away, to kill him away. The Bible says, and from that day on, was, he eyed him. That's in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 17. He eyed David. Sometimes that's what... People in positions of prominence, maybe at the, at the thought that somebody else is coming, a new star is rising. Sometimes you want to wipe him away, you want to remove him. And here is the thing. Sometimes their curiosity is really not after your health. Their curiosity is not after your well-being, but their curiosity is to satisfy themselves or fill themselves and inform themselves with opportunities to do away with you. You need discernment just like the wise man. Because God spoke to the wise man and said, don't go back to that guy. What he's saying he wants to do, that's not what he wants to do. He wants to kill the baby. And sometimes those people might be asking, oh, how are you? What is going on? And they want to find out exactly where you are at in life. And the reason why they want to find out exactly where you are at in life is to wipe you away. They begin to mark your steps. They begin to mark your this thing. So where? So where? Is, so what's the next step? What's the next this thing? When are you going to breathe next? When are you going to die next? That's all. But their, their intentions are evil. Their intentions are not righteous. Their intentions are to do away with you. That's the reason why their intentions is not for your welfare. It is for your demise. It is for your death. It is for for you to be to be removed. And yet they pretend. And because of who they are and where they stand, what you see, you think it's an interest in your welfare. No, it is a death sentence for you. So here's the thing. You don't have to always reveal where you are at in life to just everybody. 
Sometimes you need to hold where you are at because those who seek an interest is not for your good, but for your destruction. Well, it is a choice. Crown pretensions. See you later.